Etika, your gaming videos have disappeared. Etika, you're starting to do news videos like a fucking madman. What are you, Review Tech USA? I see the comments. And I'm going to address all of your concerns today. The big question, where the fuck have my gaming videos gone? And why am I suddenly doing news videos so frequently? It started a little bit, maybe a few months ago, and now it's just full blown on news. A lot of you got questions, a lot of you are wondering what's going on. I'm going to inform you about what the hell has been going on in my life that's preventing me from doing gaming videos. Now, before we go into the present, we gotta go into the past. If we go back just a few months ago, we'll see myself in a different living environment. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. As soon as you die, it's like 15 titans spawn in. We had to kill them? Yep. 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 To in order to, to win. really win. Yep. Any. I don't know about you guys, but the trainer battle music in Pokemon games is extremely important to me, mainly because it's a song that you're going to be hearing the most out of every single one in the game. When it comes to the battle music of Pokemon games, I take them very, very seriously. They're extremely important to me. My only physical attacker, aside from Escalvalier, of course, but now that I lost Shanty, I can still get my head in the game. I'm just gonna have to play really carefully. And if we go back even further, we'll see myself in an even more different living environment. <laughs> What's going on guys, Etika from the Etika World Network here with the gaming commentary now. You know, there's a whole lot of debate, a whole lot of suspicions, and a whole lot of opinions. But at the end of the day, that does not change the fact that thousands upon thousands of people died here. And it deserves the most respect and serenity that anybody could give it. So I'm going to bring you a Pokemon battle from here. A little bit of a foolish move to go for a fire punch in the rain, but that was the strongest thing I had to hit Scizor with, so that's why I went for it. I did not predict Fortress, but it worked out well. Shouldn't carry two bug steals on your team. What does she want to do? Falcon punch! Come be Falcon! The cows are like, yo, man, what's good? I saw you almost get fucked up by the monsters last night. Yeah, well, that doesn't concern you, cow, so why are you bothering me about it? I got 99 problems, but a cow ain't one anymore, that's for sure. Okay, so we got us a creeper over there. So the first creeper that we encounter in this playthrough, let's do it. Fuck you. What the fuck? Fuck! Fuck! Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. We getting out of money. We getting out of money. Oh, I got a red laser. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. Yeah. We getting out of money. We getting out of money. Yeah, boy. You like that dick? You like that dick, don't you, nigga? Wait. Oh, oh someone's gonna see me if I keep shooting. Yeah, nigga. You like that? Come here. Give me that shit. This is mine. That's mine. Come on, that's mine, boy. Damn, he he's got two guns. Filled with my bed. Filled with all the stuff I'm taking. I already moved all of my clothes out, so pretty much this is going to be it, guys. And you know, I did a lot in this place. You know, I achieved a lot of my goals here, so I don't really feel bad about leaving. Sure, it'll be kind of sad, but meh. You know, I'm looking on to better and greener pastures from this point forward. This place helped me do a lot of my work, helped me get a lot of my stuff established. So because of that, I definitely will remember it. But hey, man, this is one journey on the path of the Etika World Network. You know, who knows where this path will lead us in the future later on. This was when I had my own place, or rather, you can call it my own place. I was living in a shelter because a fire, or rather, I shouldn't even say a fire, a lightning bolt struck my building that I was living in before, burned it to the ground, and I had nowhere else to live. Welcome back. Today is the anniversary of a seven alarm fire that gutted a building in Prospect Lefferts Gardens. News 12 Brooklyn's Amanda Placentia spoke to tenants who gathered for a rally as they pushed for repairs so they can finally get back into their homes. It's been two years since a fire ripped through this building, but tenants are still without their homes. On July 26, a huge seven alarm fire destroyed this entire apartment building on New York Avenue. Today, on the second anniversary of this fire, those who lived in this building gathered for a rally. Since the fire, it's been an emotional and financial roller coaster for many who lived here. Personal possessions were lost and apartments were completely gutted. 
Many of these people have been displaced and living in shelters with family members or in more expensive housing. We're told the blaze was all caused by a lightning strike on the roof and more than 100 people were affected. To make matters even worse, tenants say no real repairs have been made to the building they once called home. They are demanding that the landlords, Kings and Queens Holdings LLC and Urban American Management repair and restore their homes. Here we are two years later still waiting for the landlord to do the right thing to restore our homes and allow us to go back in. There really hasn't been much done to aid us in our situations of finding new places to live or in the building being repaired. And you know, how many more years is it really going to take for us to have something done to help us out? These tenants say that they're trying to be patient, but after two years, they just want to return to their rent-stabilized homes. Reporting in Prospect Lefferts Gardens, Amanda Placencia, News 12 Brooklyn. Thankfully, the shelter thing worked out, but the main difference between the shelter Year, like the shelter was almost like a year and a half ago no over a year and a half ago the main difference between then and now is the fact that at least back then I had privacy now I don't pretty much I don't really have the flexibility of having our open schedule anymore and it's that's what's different from back then you see back then when I was in the, in the shelter I didn't have a bathroom I had to share the bathroom with everybody but I had my own room my own privacy and I could wake up and record at any time of the day without bothering people but where I am currently, I can't do that anymore. And that's the main reason why the gaming video has slowed down. The gaming videos are pretty much gone at the current point in time. Not because I don't want to do gaming anymore. Not because I hate playing games. I mean, Pokemon, maybe a little bit. But I would definitely be able to get back into Pokemon if I was able to record at any time I wanted. But I can't right now because I'm currently rooming with four people. But this video is not to complain about my living situation but it's just to explain why gaming videos have slowed down. You know what, it's better, sh you know, I, I, I'll, I'll do better just showing you rather than telling you. So we're gonna go for a little walk, come with me. So I'm going to show you my setup right now so you guys can see for yourselves just what's going on. I apologize for the informal look, the wife beater and all that, but hey. So this is my, this is my environment right now. So right now as you guys can see here whenever i film i have this um i have this little shower curtain to be able to prevent you guys from seeing all the other stuff that the other roommates have in here as you can see the curtain goes around the entire area and um yeah it goes around the entire area now that is kind of strange i guess because you guys are wondering you know what the hell is behind the curtain well i mean some of you may remember but i mean this is basically my room Ah, let me get the light going so I can, um, hold on. Well, not my room, but it's actually mine and a bunch of other people's rooms. And like I said, the point of this video is not to complain. It's just to show you guys why my gaming video stopped, so that way you can be more understanding and have more patience with me and more lenience with me until I get into a better situation. So, this is my current environment. There's a lot of stuff in here because it's not all mine and I don't want to show too much of it on camera. I don't want to like invade people's privacy or anything. But you know, that's a bed, that's a bed. And um, there are four people living in here currently. It's kind of crazy, kind of crazy. It's a little crazy. So I mean, yeah, the stuff is difficult to work with, man, because the main thing that's the problem now is the fact that it's difficult for me to try to find an optimal recording schedule when, you know, I don't want to bother people that much in here, you know? And it's just not that comfortable for gaming right now. I do have some hours to record when they go out or when they go to work, but it's not necessarily the, the you know, the best time period for me, you know? So that's the main reason why the gaming videos have slowed down. And I mean, I hope you dudes can understand a little bit more now. My situation, I'm doing everything I can to bring content to you dudes, but gaming videos are just not, they're just not that, they're just not that doable right now for me. They're just not. I'm trying my best to make things work out, but I'm, I, I really gotta be honest with you guys. The gaming videos, until I move, are not really going to be that frequent. In terms of moving, I actually have somewhat of a down payment. Um, I got some help <laughs> and also, um, yeah, I, I have somewhat of a down payment, so I'm just waiting until February to be able to get into this new place. Um, there was supposed to be a new place that's being built that I'm supposed to be going into, but it's kind of shifty, I don't know. But um, February would probably be the time where I'll be able to like get a place solid. But a lot of it's still in the air, because you, you really gotta be rich to get anywhere in fucking New York, man. Why'd I have to be 
a YouTuber here of all places. Anywhere else, I would have been good by now. But um, like I said, we're not bitching about anything here. I hope this video explained it to you guys a bit more. I don't hate gaming, and I'm not giving up on gaming on this channel. Fire Emblem, Pokemon, Attack on Titan, and not to mention the Sonic the Hedgehog playthroughs. All those games that I used to play are definitely coming back, man. They are coming back, but you gotta be patient with me. I'm not in the best position right now, and I don't have any privacy anymore. I mean, this bath curtain, this shower curtain, it is not just for, you know, having a nice, or rather, a decent, or at least, you know what, fuck decent, fuck nice. It's not just for covering up the messy background in the room shared with four people. No, it's kind of to have my own privacy a little bit as well, too, you know? I mean... I don't know guys, it's just a little bit of a tough situation here, so give me some time. I'm only a human being, I know a lot of you guys are upset that I haven't done the gaming stuff. Trust me, it's coming back, I just need a little bit more time, I need a little bit more leniency, I need a little bit more patience, and trust me, you will get that channel that you guys fell in love with. I know a lot of you dudes love the news videos, as I can tell by the numbers in my channel, the best numbers I've ever had in my entire YouTube career. But this is not what I want to be defined by. I want to be able to do everything. Jack of all trades in a sense. So give me some time, baby. I'll work it out. I'll try to make things good. But until then, you're going to have to bear with the content that I put out right now. I'm not saying gaming is disappearing. Uh, gaming is not disappearing. But it's going to be slow. Slow. And I mean, that's, that's all I can say about that, guys. I mean, my, my schedule, I only have like five hours to record with no one here. It's not really that optimal, especially considering my sleep schedule is kind of messed up. I've done everything in my book to try to fix it. Still messed up. Five hours, this isn't enough time. And I want to be able to stream and do everything. It's tough. Time management is one of the most difficult things for me to handle right now. And um, I'm just going to do my best to try to try to stay with it, you know, try to bear with it. And um, we'll see what happens in the future. But I'm still happy about the numbers right now. Like I said, the channel is doing the best it ever has been. And I really love and appreciate all of the support that you guys have been giving me. But I'm going to need some more leniency. Thank you for watching. And I hope this lets you understand my situation a little bit more.